Hi, this is Song Chen Song from the Postdoc Design Intelligence Lab. Our lab keeps lab reports in the form of blogs. It helps not only to keep track of your work, but also helps to share your work among other people. Here is an example of a blog. In the beginning, there is a date, and after that, the research topic is written in the form of a question. The reason why we do it in the form of question is that this vlog is about answering that question. After that, there are objectives of this research topic. Then it is followed by videos or pictures regarding the research. On the pictures, you will see that there are explanations or comments regarding them. Then at the very end of the vlog, there is a link to the files related to the research that are shared through OneDrive. You can simply go to the OneDrive and click share. Now I will talk about how to create a WordPress site. You can easily create one by logging in into the WordPress through your Google account. In the beginning, you will be notified that you, you currently do not own a site. But you can easily create one by clicking on the red button under it that says create a site. Now here you can name your site, but you can edit it later after the site is made. And under it, you can also edit the topic of your site later on. And you have to designate a domain for your website here. But if you do not already own a domain, I see no reason to go for the ones that charges you fees. So just go for the free one on the top. Then your site is made. It's that simple. You can upload your profile pictures later. Now, you will normally make blogs in the post section on the site. As you can see here, the first site is automatically made for the first time users. Now, you can just click on make new posts to create your own blog. So, this is the end of the tutorial on how to make a blog on WordPress and thank you for listening.